Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Which karate they stand for which legion? The stent ideology have started by one stent that fits all like Palmaz stent Now we have stent per each side like karate and renal Now we also have moved into different stent per single site And Regarding the carotid, the available carotid stent, we don't have balloon expandable stent in carotid because they are crushable. We have only self expandable stent which uh, can be either braided mesh or nitinol, which can be open cell design or closed cell design or combination of open and closed cell design like the new crystal stent. Braided mesh wire stent are super alloy and it is braided in different diameter it has a spring like expansion and a good example is the carotid wool stent which you can see by boston scientific and it has very good radial force and regarding the nitinol stent it is laser cut nitinol of nitinol tubes it has crown and bridges it expand by thermal uh, affection and it can be expanded to the optimal diameter so it have a thermal memory and uh, this is one of the example of nitinol self-expandable stents now the nitinol stent can be as we have said a closed cell design or open cell design and each uh, part of the stent will behave like a separate stent uh, here you can see magnification of a smart stent by cordis and you can see how it is connected to each other now you can have either in the open cell design either peak to peak or peak to valley these are the three example famous three example of peak to peak which by BART and precise by Cortis and optimate by Sinus and you also can have peak to valley like the silver stent and remember now we have drug looting stent which is uh, silver by Cook called silver PTX and we are very interested in the silver PTX trial and we also have um, AccuLink by Guidant, which again peak to value. Now the closed cell design, it has better uh, lesion scaffolding, it has less struts distortion, it has excellent radial force, and as you can see from this shape, this is a good example by the exact stent of closed cell design, and also the next stent is a closed cell design made out of nitinol now each lesion characteristic will demand from you to select a type of stent that matches if you get torsion vessel you need a stent with better vessel comfortability if in thrombotic you you need a good lesion coverage by covered stent in difficult access you would like to have better deliverability in long lesion you need exact positioning like carotid wall stent if diameter change you need vessel adaptation like open cell design of uh, self-expandable nitinol stents in fibrotic lesion you'd like to have good radial force and in tight lesion you need a really good profile so these are the two steps you have to select either mesh wire or nitinol stent and uh, regarding vessel torsuosity you have to remember that nitinol stent will follow the curves of your stent for example here you can see that uh, the mesh wire stent in torsion vessel will shift to the kink distally you can see now the distal kink was being shifted up if you have more curve this can be a problem but if you put um, nitinol stent like a smart stent in this patient you will have better adaptability to the shape and you will have a nice curve then you will get this picture and without a distal kink to it so it is safer when you have more tortuosity to use self-expandable nitinol stent if you have if you can imagine that you have one patient which is the top two pictures and for one of them you have put uh, nitinol stent and for the other one you have put mesh wire stent in nitinol stent it will have a smooth curve and you will get a curved stent in case of uh, second picture on the right side you will have a straightening of the vessel and uh, the kink will shift more distally and if you get a plain x-ray you see the stent in upright position doesn't care 
again if you are looking for better scaffolding like this nasty looking lesion with ulcer crater and maybe fresh from by you're looking for a vital characteristic of your stent which is <coughs> lesion coverage and good scaffolding which happen by uh, mesh wire stent and then you can get such a picture if you put a mesh wire and the other picture if you put nitinol stent again if you have difficult access like octogenarian and type 4 uh, aortic arch then you're looking for better deliverability of your stent in order to reach a good position and to be secure in stent deployment long lesion like this one again you want uh, to put the lesion that can cover the whole lens and have good tensile stent like carotid wall stent and always be very careful with the distal king especially when using such a long lesion like this case where you can solve it by either putting another stent or balloon dilatation or just to observe the patients again you have to remember there is no foreshortening in nitinol stent and sometimes you get a distal flaring <coughs> which is very nice in cases of disparity between common and internal carotid again in mesh wire you have to remember there is point of no return which means you can deploy up to 50% of the stent <coughs> If you're not happy about the position, you can retake the stent back in again and reposition it. If you didn't cross the point of no return, which is 50% length of the stent. High grade stenotic lesion, like this one. Again, you need a better uh, crossing profile. If not, you use pre dilatation to 3 mm balloon, and obviously, better to have proximal protection because this time you are not protected different vessel diameter again we get a lot of discrepancy between vessel diameter <coughs> and here nitinol is have an advantage of expanding to 7 mm in common carotid while only expand to 4 mm internal carotid again comfortability which is better <coughs> in nitinol stent compared to mesh wire stent and this is an example of a carotid case done by nitinol paper stent was good idea in the beginning but in clinical practice it's very difficult to match the patient anatomy <coughs> by conical shape and this is example of tapered stent again next stent which has a closed cell design and distal flare on each side is a self expandable nitinol stent and it has very good scaffolding lesion scaffolding now i put here as a conclusion of this lecture the lesion type and if it is better with nitinol or better with mesh wire remember if you have tortuous vessel you're better off with nitinol if you have long lesion you're better with mesh wire if the diameter change you are better with nitinol my personal feeling regarding this issue <coughs> i've put it here you get more adaptability with nitinol stent and again a smoother angiographic picture by carotid wall stent and you get exact positioning in carotid wall stent and repositioning and now both systems are a monorail system but it is easier with carotid wall stent to monorail system and you get higher radial force with nitinol stent so my conclusion is in your case when you book the patient for carotid stenting it is better to have both system available mesh wire and nitinol and this is, is safer for the patient thank you very much